Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today what I'm going to be teaching you is how to make some food, go over the settings, and uh, just kind of walk you through how to make a couple types of uh, food. So the first thing that we're going to do is import our textures. Uh, what we need to do is go to our resource tab, then textures, and then we're going to import uh, a couple textures that are just off of vanilla that have been renamed. So I'm going to go to my desktop, which is that little home icon up there. And then I'm going to click on the folder where I have the files located. Uh, you're going to want a PNG file for your uh, texture images. And then just select it, click open. And we're going to also import another item texture for cooked duck. So now that we have our textures imported, what we need to do is go to our mod elements tab click new and uh, you should scroll down to where the food um, icon is right here a little muffin icon and then what you want to do is give it a name so I'm going to call it cooked uh, cooked duck and we're going to select our texture so we want the cooked version uh, this is the texture icon I'm going to click next this is going to be the name in the GUI, so the display name. So we're going to go and call it cooked duck. Uh, what kind of food inventory it's going to be in, or what kind of inventory it's going to be in. So this is generally under food, so you can generally keep it where it is, unless you have your own mod element or you want it in a different one that might be better or easier for people to find it. Uh, the stack size, and oh by the way, this is only for creative inventories, this isn't actually for where inventories are found. So um, this is kind of important when, um, well, yeah, when you're actually setting up the um, creative inventory part. So uh, for creative players, then you want to select what tab it's under. Uh, the stack size is how high the stack can um basically go up to so uh, things like eggs can only stack to 16 uh, where regular items like diamonds and stuff can stack to 64 you can go up to 64 but it um, doesn't go any higher than that the nutrients value is uh, how much the um, item will actually generate on food and um, four I think is uh, two I believe it's two exact um, food bars. It might be. It might be the other way around. It might be four. I'm not sure. So we'll see how that works out. And we'll set it to two. And then what we want to do is, is it for dogs? Uh, this is, for example, if um, it's a meat item. So because it's cooked duck, it can be used for dogs. So we'll be uh, using checking that. So basically what happens is you can basically breed dogs with uh, this type of food um, is always edible this is pretty much uh, as clear as possibly can be uh, you'll be able to always eat this item if um, this is checked uh, potion effect so this is the status effects for um, certain items uh, for example the uh, if it's a raw item you might want to give poison so if you wanted to like this was uh, raw duck then what you want to do is maybe give it poison and if the player eats it or whatever then it could poison them um, there you could also do this same thing through um, the update takes and stuff like that with a random possibility if you don't want it to always give the effect uh, we will cover that in a little bit so if you want to give a certain potion effect or something like that, then you or a status effect, then you can enable this and select what effect you want. Uh, the eating speed, this is um, how fast the item can be eaten. And the food animation, this is varies on if it's a, a drinking animation or an eating animation. This uh, does different particle effects and sounds. So uh, we're just going to leave it at these general settings. Now if you want um, to add your custom, um, basically custom poisonous effects and stuff like that, when food eaten is the uh, one that you want to go on, you're just going to create a uh, procedure 
and then if you want to have it on a random decibel uh, for basically if it's a 50% chance of like, giving them poison, what you want to do is um, you want to go to, I believe logic, was it logic and loops? I think it's logic and loops. You grab one of those and then what you do is go greater, forget which way is greater. I think greater is the other way. So is greater than and then you want to select a number, so 0 0.5 say five would be 50%. Um, you want to do a number between 1 and 0. So uh, you can use point form. You can actually go as many digits as you want. So we could actually offset it by like 75 or 333 three, three or something like that. I'm just going to use 5 for the example. And uh, we're going to need another math operator for a random event. What this is going to do is it's going to basically ran, uh, generate a random number, and if the number is greater than 0.5 or 50%, it's going to do something. So because this is a cooked food item, uh, what I'm going to do is go to uh, Entity, scroll down to Effects, Add Potion, or you could do one with Particles, uh, which you have a little more control over the particles. I'm going to enable that, and then I'm going to go over to where the uh, provided entity um, effect actually is and I'm going to also um, add a little potion expect for let's see here we can do um, well that's a good question hmm uh, let's see we could always do night vision night vision is pretty easy to see so we'll do night vision for that and if the player basically eats it uh, at 50% chance, it will give night vision for, I believe, 60 ticks or 60 seconds. I'm not sure. Um, I think 300 is uh, 5 seconds. So we'll set that to that. And then we'll um, click Add Procedure. That should be under When Food Eaten. We'll click Next. And then it will generate our procedure and our cooked duck. So there's also another thing that we can do, uh, just to example, uh, for a raw chicken, what we can do is just uh, duplicate this, and we'll call it raw duck. So raw duck will be our new food. We're going to select our new item. I'm going to click Next. Uh, we're going to set potion effect instead this time and we're going to have it set to poison and we're going to disable the one food eaten and we're going to click save so we can also duplicate as well if we want to so now that we have food uh, the actual food items made what we need to do is set up some recipes so generally uh, if it's like a uh, item that is dropped by say a play or like an entity or something like that you would say have it drop the raw duck or something like that and then you would um, make a recipe for the, the cooked duck or something like that. Uh, since we don't have any way to obtain the duck, uh, the raw duck, that we would probably want to craft it somehow or have an entity drop it. Uh, for cooked duck we can create a simple recipe though. So we can create a recipe and we can go and go uh, recipe cooked duck. And then we're going to add a smelting recipe. Uh, we're going to have the item being smelted raw duck. And it's going to make cooked duck. And we want to set the XP amount. So you can set it from 1 to 0 or however, how many values you want it. And click Save. And you already have a recipe set up. That's all you really need to do. We'll hop in game and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we're now in game. I'm going to go to the food tab. We're going to have our cooked and raw version. So we'll start with the raw version and then we'll eat the uh, cooked version. Uh, we actually need to damage ourselves a little bit, so we need to eat. Uh, what I'm going to do though is just speed that process up by um, setting myself on fire or something. So I'm going to need flint and steel and then. Uh, what we can do is 
uh, have some milk as well because we're going to need that for the poison. Probably grab two milk bu buckets. So I'm just going to uh, get my health or hunger down quite a bit. I'm going to set my game mode. I probably should set difficulty to peaceful just so I don't die during the night. So game mode zero and I'll get that all sorted out and then we can test how many health bars uh, or food bars we get from it. So I have my uh, health down to four uh, bars just in case. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to eat the um, raw chicken just to see the poison effect. So it gives us two health bars. Our health is going down now because we have poison. Uh, wither effect will actually kill the player. So if you want to kill the player, uh, potentially, then what you want to do is have uh, the effect be wither. Uh, it's basically the same thing as poisoning, but uh, one is more deadly. Uh, now, we know that the nutrients value for setting it to four will do half a heart. So each will be half a heart each. So we got a total of four half hearts, or half um, food values. So. Now we're going to test uh, the other other item, which is the food, which should give us night vision for uh, 30 seconds or 20 seconds or something. So you, you can see that it gives um, a random possibility as well. And uh, because we set it to 50%, it just happened to give us it right away. So I'm going to uh, start making more of these uh, workspaces like I've done in the past and uploading them to my Mediafire. Um, I figure that uh, it can actually help people a little bit more, you know, playing around with the settings and uh, seeing the example and having all the files and stuff at their fingertips and learn. Maybe some people are more um, hands-on learning and stuff like that and uh, they don't want to worry about configuring it all themselves and they can learn from an actual workspace rather than trying to figure it out in their own and worry about um, basically messing up all their progress in their mod. So I'm going to be uh, in the next couple while adding more workspaces that um, I do tutorials on and uploading it to my media fire and adding it to my website as well. Uh, so yeah, without that, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you liked about it, and uh, also rate the video, it does help, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.